Uh, shoot. Uh, I missed my turn, people. Uh, this is bad news. I was like three minutes I just wasted there. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Venture Dave. This weekend, I am exploring France's fairy tale town of Colmar. But before we do that, right now, what I'm trying to do is 5 30 in the morning and I'm trying to beat the sunrise to take some photos over the famous Le Petit Venice. Um, absolutely gorgeous photos in that area. I was actually there last night getting photos at the sunset, but I woke up to try and get there in time to see what I can do with the sunrise. I want to see if I can get a different angle. Um, I'm kind of walking a little bit furiously here because the sun, it's gonna be close. Uh, but this could quite possibly be the most Instagrammable spot in the entire world. I'm not gonna have a lot, a whole lot of time to scout. So. All right guys, so I'm here set up. This is where I was last night, so I'm kind of retaking the shot. Oh, dang it. That guy's running in my shot. And now there's another dude. I got a few different shots, we'll see how they turn out. Yeah, I was just like scrambling, you know, like calling, calling Omaha's and Audible's or sorts of stuff just cause like, I, was, I don't know, I, was, I panicked out there. <laughs> All right, set up here at spot number two. Super Instagrammable. I gotta get myself snapping them, otherwise it didn't happen. Snap a few. So I've been up and at it for a couple hours now. I think I did all right. I don't know, I don't know. The sun came on quick and it came on harsh. <laughs> so Colmar is allegedly the inspiration for Disney's Beauty and the Beast. You know the village where like Belle lives in and like it's all like cobblestone -y and like colored houses with like quintessential like fairy tale village. Uh, very picturesque, very Instagrammable for you folks out there. If you're looking for the ideal spot to get those, those perfect grams, this is where you wanna come. But we've got a fun-filled, fun-filled day. We're obviously gonna check out the city of Colmar. I've already spent a lot of time getting photos of Le Petit Venice, but I wanna spend time in going out to kind of the surrounding areas, checking out the other villages. But also, for those of you who may not know, this region of France, the Alsace region, is very famous for growing wine. So the goal is to basically go around, see you know, if I can get some just kind of landscape photos and check out some wineries while I'm at, get a little bit of wine, you'll say it, you'll say it. So that's the plan, you know, we're gonna check out, let's spend a little bit of time at Colmar, but I'm venturing out, gonna check out the surrounding area, check out some wineries, check out just the landscape, and hopefully also check out some nearby towns because a lot of those are very Instagrammable as well. All right, folks, so we are here at Le Petit Venice, but I just wanted to kind of come back and give you guys a view without me kind of, you know, taking the photos. And right now, again, like I said, it's still pretty early, so there's really no one out here, but just a gorgeous spot. You've got this beautiful canal really still right now with just these flowers kind of lining the entire rail. You got a nice little uh, Michelin star restaurant right down there, which I will certainly not be eating there because that is outside my price range. So this is kind of the quintessential spot for Instagram photos right here. There's basically three primary spots for taking photos here at Le Petit Venice. One is gonna be right here on you know this rail, look in this direction. You can kind of play with the angle to get different variations, whether you want more of these houses or whether you wanna be looking down that canal more. So the next area is gonna be just right down the street a little bit, right next to actually this Michelin star restaurant, which I pointed out earlier. So, uh, which is, what is it called? Jean Vez Schillinger. Um, so anyway, right down here, which luckily it's really early so I can do this. And this is basically the exact same portion of the canal, but just looking the opposite direction. So right now I'm in an area which I probably wouldn't be able to be if this restaurant was open. You know, you can kind of post up, get different compositions here with some of the plants on the railings and whatnot, and look in that direction. So basically you've got those two areas right here in the same area, just looking in one of the other directions. And the other is just a couple minutes heading down the canal. There's a there's a road that'll just keep following you through and after just about another, you know, minute of walking from the previous spot, you arrive at the third spot for Instagram photos. They're just photos in general, you know, they don't have to be for Instagram. Actually, of course they have to be for Instagram, otherwise what's the point? Also along this canal here, you just have these little restaurants. I'm not going to, but highly recommend eating at one of those spots, you know, if, if you're looking for atmosphere and all that sort of stuff. And so, you know, those three spots that I showed are gonna be kind of the quintessential spots 
for like the Instagram photos that you see out there for this town. But as you walk around, there's obviously going to be tons of other spots that you can find just, you know, all along the canal or on the rest of the city. And so as you walk around the town, it's really not hard to see why this was probably the inspiration for Beauty and the Beast because you've just got, you know, just such a picturesque, quaint town with these houses that I don't even really know how to describe them, just colored in wooden with like wooden beams and the canals and but after this we are heading out we're gonna go find some more towns find some more Instagrammable moments get some photos and hopefully get some wine while we're at it you know what I'm saying the city is beginning to wake the townspeople are stirring I can almost imagine everyone's just gonna break out in song and dance and start flinging pastries everywhere Did I get uh, three of we oui. All right, got myself a few chocolate pastries for breakfast. Um, I mean, that, that's just pretty much standard. And uh, this should give me the energy to, to carry me through the day. You've got all the standard stuff that comes with quaint little touristy towns. You know, you've got shops down in the central square. You got nice little areas and cafes to sit, other restaurants. You got all that sort of stuff. Like every European city, you have a giant church. So you can go check out other old monuments, that sort of thing. So, I mean, just a nice little place to just come and relax. As well as frantically scurrying around to get the grams. Because, honestly, honestly, that's the, that's the main reason you'd come here is for the grams. Because, honestly, what else even matters? Now, for some people, you could spend a few days here, you know, just like eating at restaurants and like going to museums and shopping and doing all that sort of thing. But I'm not really into that. So, I've, I kind of got what I wanted out of the city. So, now I'm basically going to head out to the surrounding area. See if I can check out some of the other towns around here. And then just see if I can get some nice landscapes of the vineyards. So geographically speaking, um, where we are right now in Colmar and this Alsace region of France, we are on the eastern side, basically right along the border with Germany. And uh, interesting fact for you folks out there is that this part of this part of France actually over the last you know 500 years or so changed hands multiple times between Germany and France. Kind of starting back with like Louis the something back in like the 15, 1400s or so. I think he kind of took over it from, I don't know who it belonged to at that point, probably someone. But then over the next 500 years or so, it kind of went back and forth depending on like what war was fought and who happened to get it. And so what it, that has led to is basically a mixture, a blend between German and French culture here. And so what you'll find a lot with like the architecture and the food and everything, it's a nice mixture between French and German culture. All right, folks, after a quick nap, I was really tired after waking up that early because I don't normally wake up at like five something in the morning. Our first stop here outside of Colmar is gonna be a small town about 15 minutes away by car called uh, Eggishim, Eggisheim. All right, folks. One thing you gotta understand is pronunciation is not gonna be my forte on this channel. I mean, that's just gonna have to be a given going forward, so don't count on my pronunciation for anything. Again, another super quaint, small, picturesque Beauty and the Beast Disneyland fairy tale town. There's a particular photo that I'm looking to capture here. You know, surrounding all these little villages, you've you just got fields of, of vineyards. And uh, if I can get the right vantage points, it might look really cool with just like hills of rolling vineyards. This is our spot coming up right here. This is where we're gonna post up, get a photo right of this little cobblestone area. So quick note for you Instagrammers out there. So Colmar's gonna have a lot of those areas where they're like Instagrammable spots, like in the Petit Venise with the canals and the flowers and the buildings and all that stuff. But if you wanna do like a photo shoot, Eggishim is where you wanna go. So for all you Instagram models out there, if you wanna come and do like a bunch of like posing, if, you're, if your thing is like posing in doorways with flowers and everything, this is where you wanna come to do your photo shoot because you just got this whole street with all sorts of areas to just post up and do that. So, you know, now that I'm done finishing up with Eggishheim, I can finally start heading out um, into the fields and seeing what wineries we can find. Oh, that was 
smells so good, that wine. Um, especially because it's like hot out, walking around, coming in here where it's nice and cool. Just getting a nice, crisp, ripe Pinot Gris. Uh, mwah. <laughs> people so for the last couple hours I've basically been going around and just going to town on the wine well not really going to town because they don't let you they only pour you a little bit for the tastings but basically like I mentioned before so in the Alsace region of France here on the eastern side of France Colmar which is where we saw earlier that basically sits in the heart of this wine route and so there's there's this what's called the wine route that basically spans 170 kilometers of winemaking country with just tons of picturesque fairy tale French villages along it so I showed you obviously Colmar obviously uh, uh, Equishim whatever that town is those are probably the two most popular but all along this route there's you know all these fairy tale towns you can go to and then tons of wineries so they're like in this whole area there's like billions of wineries so while I was driving oh, I just wanted to pull over because I hadn't really shown this before yet so you guys have obviously seen the towns but I haven't shown kind of what the surrounding area looks like you've just got fields and fields of grapevines within just this enormous land of grapevine area you've just got patches of uh, these little towns essentially just like Equishim and the other small towns I mentioned this is what I'm hoping to get a photo of so I'm just trying to maybe get up in the hills and uh, see if I can get kind of you know the rolling hills of the vineyards with maybe a, like a village in it so I was able to drive up here up into the fields a little bit I mean if you're coming here to this area it's worth it's worth a drive up in here. You can find like these random roads that go up. Just came across this little lookout tower here and I was really hoping it was open, but it's uh, it's locked. That would be a perfect vantage point over that there town. The problem is, is I'm all a little bit too low, you know, like these vines are all like at my head level. So to kind of get above them to look down on them is a little tough. While we're out here, I thought I might as well show you guys some some grapes. These little guys, they're uh, they're obviously you know they're pretty small. Here we go, a little like colorful splash of grapes. Yeah, it's pretty neat. This is actually a spot where I can sort of look over. The city's not great, but there's those cool vineyards there. So I'm gonna see what I can do. Let's see what kind of shot we can get. As always, it's a race against the clock. I just made a little bit of a detour at this. It was kind of like a lookout chateau up in the hills here. It was just kind of impromptu. But now I'm heading to basically an area that I scoped out earlier. This is basically just a scramble from one spot to the next. Here we are arriving. I found this place entirely by chance. I was just driving by and I pulled over, kind of came down here, scoped it out, and then went along my day and kind of planned to come here back for the sunset. Once the sun starts uh, going down and hopefully we get some nice, some oranges in that sky, it's gonna be dope, it's gonna be dope stuff. Now what's nice is I actually have a pretty cool scene in both directions here. So I'm gonna try and snap both of it. This is gonna be my primary right here looking up. Uh, mainly because I think the clouds will be a little bit better there. And this is the water's a little more still. So I think that'll just be really cool there. But I also have this just on the other side, um, which is kind of cool because you can get some of these plants. So I'll probably just kind of switch between the two, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this spot. So I got a pretty cool composition set up here. I'm just kind of waiting for the lighting to get just right. I don't know if you can see it in there. We basically got this part of the waterfall kind of in the left side going up into the flatter part of of the of the stream there and then up into the clouds and sky so it's looking pretty cool you can kind of see it there i think it's gonna look really good um right now the sky is pretty bright still i don't know it, i don't know it's it's touch it's touch and go here with the clouds and the sky but i'm pretty excited about this uh 
Let's go. We had a solid time checking out the best areas, finding the best photo spots of the area. Let's take a look at some of the best shots. That is Colmar, that is the Alsace region of France. I will see you next time, and until then, venture on.